So have you ever dreamed of sailing in one of those high-class suites on your cruise ship but can never afford it? Well, today, my friends, we're diving deep into Celebrity's Move Up program, which promises you an upgrade into a higher-class room by simply bidding on it. Is it too good to be true? Today, I'm telling you everything you need to know about it and hopefully saving you some money. So let's picture this. You've booked a cruise and the excitement is running through your veins like a riptide. You've chosen your cabin and envision a cozy haven where you can relax and unwind. But then you hear whispers of the Move Up program, a golden opportunity to secure an upgrade and take your cruise experience to new heights. The allure is strong, but is it really too good to be true? That's the burning question, my friends. Should you throw caution to the wind and bid on a luxurious suite, or should you stay in your original cabin of choice? Well, let's find out. And by the way, if this is your first time here, my name is Tom Sunday. I make weekly cruise videos. And if you're into that, I hope you decide to subscribe. The Move Up program works like an auction where you place a bid to upgrade your cabin. You choose how much you're willing to spend. And if your bid is successful, you'll be sailing in the higher class stateroom. Sounds exciting, right? But here's where the waters can get a bit choppy. When it comes to the Move Up program, there are a few things you need to consider before diving in. First and foremost, there are no guarantees that your bid will be accepted. It's like casting a line into the vast ocean and hoping for a bite. And just like fishing, there's a chance you might reel in nothing but disappointment. The Move Up program requires you to bid with your own money and there is no fixed amount. It's a game of chance where you're waging how much you're willing to pay for an upgrade. While it may seem tempting to bid a higher amount to increase your chances, there is a risk of overspending and ending up with a hefty bill at the end of your cruise. Another aspect to consider is that the Move Up program can be a bit unpredictable. You might find yourself upgrading to a higher class room, but not necessarily to a specific cabin or a location that you had in mind. It's like catching a wave and being taken in a direction you did not expect. So if having a specific cabin or a location is important to you, the Move Up program might not be the best choice. Sometimes the cabin you originally choose perfectly suits your needs and preferences. And it's like finding a hidden gem in a treasure chest. So before upgrading, remember you're only bidding on a cabin type and not the cabin location. So here's how this works. Everyone places their bids and then waits. The cruise line will try to sell all of the rooms via the regular bookings. Whatever rooms are left over will be distributed to the highest bidders. You cannot pick the location of the room and you cannot go back to the original room either if your bid is accepted. You will be assigned a new room and charge the price of your bid at that point exactly. There is no going back to your original room if the bid was accepted and all of this is done automatically once you place your bid. On a side note, I found out that the Move Up program is actually not ran by celebrity but by an outside company. I'm not sure how credible this is because I still can't find any more information about it but a lot of people are mentioning this so I figured I'll let you know. Now let me give you the worst case scenario. This actually happened to someone who watches this channel. The couple in question was celebrating a special occasion and decided to splurge and reserve an aqua class stateroom. They watched one of my previous videos where I explained how I pick my own cabins and followed my advice. I'll link that video for you up top if you're interested. They carefully selected the room that perfectly met their needs and preferences in midship location, surrounded by other staterooms, providing a really nice view. A few weeks later, they received the move up offer and decided to bid on a suite. To their surprise, the bid was accepted a few weeks before the cruise and they ended up in a suite. Here's the problem. Most of the time, the move up rooms are leftovers, the cabins that no one else really wants to book. In this case, their suite happened to be located underneath of a gym. I'm sure you can guess what happened next. Our friends ended up listening to weight being dropped on their heads almost the entire cruise. While the cabin was much bigger and more luxurious, they had a terrible time 
and came back wishing they never upgraded. It's an important lesson we all should consider. The best rooms are usually booked first, and while you may get an acceptable upgrade, you may also be stuck in a room that's extremely undesirable. Now, setting the location aside, there are two very important things to consider when bidding. The fine print does state that you do not get all of the perks even if you get selected for the upgrade. For example, if you book a regular balcony and upgrade to an aqua class or a suite via the Move Up program, you do not get all of the loyalty points for aqua and suites. Remember, aqua class guests and suite guests receive significantly more loyalty points on their bookings per day. This will not be the case if you win the move up bid. You will receive the loyalty points based on your original booked room. Additionally, you do not get any extra promotions associated with the higher class room. Onboard credit and other perks remain the same as your lower room. However, your gratuity will increase. Remember, higher class rooms require higher gratuity payments. And the main reason why you'll never see me use the Move Up program for Aqua or a Retreat upgrade is because they don't come with all of the extras that normally you get when you pay for it. For example, besides all of the loyalty points, when you book an Aqua class room, you also get the classic beverage package as well as a Wi-Fi included in the price of the room. When you get bumped up via the Move Up program, you will have access to the Blue Restaurant and a bunch of other little features. I'll link a video for you up top that explains everything really well about Aqua, but you will not get the classic beverage package, which is alcohol, and Wi-Fi included in that price. So really, what is the point? You're just getting the room. It's exactly the same if you're using the suites. So if you were to upgrade to a retreat via the move up, you will have access to Lumine, which is the suite only restaurant, and the retreat, which is like a lounge over there for suite guests. But you will not get the beverage packages, you will not get alcohol, you will not get the free Wi-Fi that comes included by default in a suite. That for me is a deal breaker. Not only do you have to move up and use your money to upgrade to the room, but you'll also have to still purchase a beverage package, a Wi-Fi, and all of the other stuff that comes free if you were to get this room normally. Now here's a very important hack for you. You can save tons of money by trying to upgrade your room through the cruise line as soon as you physically get on the ship. Try to reserve the earliest boarding time you can and then go straight to guest services when you arrive. If there are any rooms available for upgrade, you can get them at a significant discount at that time. You will also be able to know exactly which room you'll be getting. This way, you can save tons of money and can also pass on the upgrade if you're not happy with where the room is located. Lastly, I did some math and noticed that sometimes you can actually book the room you are bidding on for cheaper than the total price with the bid. In other words, the actual price of the room plus your bid can be more than what the room cost if you just decided to book it yourself. If that's the case, I would suggest checking the website and canceling the original booking and rebooking to the higher room to save yourself a bunch of money. Personally, I will be staying away from the Move Up program. If you want to take a risk and gamble, I suggest trying to upgrade as soon as you get on the ship because you have a way better chance and it's gonna be cheaper. In the end, the decision to participate in the Move Up program is a personal one, and it's about weighing the potential benefits against the uncertainties and the cost. So, my fellow cruisers, consider what's most important to you and choose wisely. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.